Dust clouds have replaced rain clouds in the West Texas town of Big Spring. Everything is not as pretty as it normally is. Texas is in the middle of the second worst drought in state history. Now several communities are kicking off a plan that would have seemed crazy a generation ago. Tapping the toilets. Construction is underway on a $13 million plant that will turn wastewater into tap water. And community leaders are working hard to calm squeamish neighbors. Well, it was pretty grossed out at the, when you first told me. But Wade Miller of the advocacy group Water Reuse says it's not exactly what you may think. We aren't using raw sewage. We're using highly treated wastewater. And then we're turning it into water that then gets treated again. West Texas water officials point to other communities around the U.S. that have done the same. A plant in Orange County, California, provides 70 million gallons of drinking water a day. Officials there say it's nearly as good as distilled water and cuts down on pollution and importing costs. Miller says the technology used to clean the water is some of the best in the world. What comes out of that series of processes is a very high quality water. Some residents still need convincing. Well, I know that we're in a drought, so I guess it could help, but it doesn't seem very appealing to me. But officials say they're running out of other options. At least one of the three reservoirs in West Texas may dry up if the drought persists through next year. That would cut 20 million gallons a day out of the water supply. The new plant would provide 2 million a day. It sounds nasty, but, um, but I know that if that's what we have to do for our water, um, then it has to be done. With crops and cattle dying off in the drought, more and more residents seem to be willing to flush their fears away. Nasty, but... Noel Wagner, the Associated Press.